Hey, so in yesterday's video, you saw that I got this case and I failed to mention it's called the GWE Extreme Case by Gator Cases. And the problem was that the guitar um, was moving around too much. We needed a way to keep it from moving around in transport, right? So the solution is these half moons. I got some of that purple two inch rigid foam from Home Depot. It's made by Owens Corning, it's the two inch wide stuff, right? And um, one sheet of it costs, it was under $50, which is expensive. However, one sheet is gonna last me, you know, probably a hundred cases. So a hundred instruments for $50, that's not a bad deal. Um, the thing that is expensive, a little more expensive though, is this uh, crushed velvet. I got a bag of it here. It's one yard of crushed velvet. Cost $23 at the fabric store. Not a big deal, but I, it was way more expensive than I thought. So I used some spray adhesive to attach the uh, crushed velvet to the insulation. They're installed with hot glue. Now it is really important to know exactly where in the case these things are supposed to be and how wide they're supposed to be and how long and everything. So the way I did that, I just took a piece of paper and I took the guitar out, I set a piece of paper down and I laid the guitar back down on top of it. And then I traced on the paper the shape that I wanted. I took that paper, I transferred it to a piece of the foam insulation, right? I cut it out on the bandsaw and really that's, that's all there is to it. I don't like working with fabric and like the sticky stuff. It's kind of, you know, I did all that stuff outside you don't want to be spraying, you know, spray adhesive in your shop. At least I don't. But anyway, um, another tip. When you put these in with hot glue, you're going to want to hot glue this side down in here and then around the edge of the bottom. And you want to take your guitar out of the case before you put it in because I actually got a little bit of hot glue on the edge of the guitar here. I mean, it'll come right off. I just have to scrape it off. Um, I didn't do that yet, but yeah, that scared me a little bit. So anyway, hope this helps to anyone um, looking to do this type of project. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next video.